Oh, you guys think I'm afraid of anything right now? Whoa, calm down. Calm down. No, there's not. What the freak is this? Chill, bro. Chill. It's just a phone. No! <laughs> Okay guys, so today we are going to be taking a look at the newly released Fog of Cage demo. Now this is a part of the Steam Next Fest VR game titles. This one is gonna be a horror experience. It has been a very long while since the last time I've played a VR experience about horror that's not phasmophobia. So that's gonna be pretty interesting. I hope this game has a good story, good controls and maybe some cool mechanics for the puzzles. So let's jump right in and see how it is. Here we are today in Fog of Cage. Very spooky stuff. Tons of Chinese text. Got this very, very climatic, immersive menu. Got this beautiful ring. We've got some interesting sort of demonic ring. Definitely gonna summon some demons and stuff. Oh my god, this is looking so weird. This is where my actual hand is, right here. You guys can see that. And then there, this is like, yeah, this is where my hand in game is. Try to push the move. Yeah, let's go up to the table. Hold the trigger to pick up. Uh, hold the grab button on your right hand to open the backpack. Try to use the hammer to smash the button. That, that, the vase? The vase. <laughs> I can't believe this. This is the bottle. Go to that photo on the table. Yeah? Go pick up the photo. Oh. D. 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 This looks like. This is strong. Mm. What are you doing with me? Mama. Mama. Oh my god, they're harvesting my organs right now. Guys, we don't want to get our organs. Yo, am I inside of the table? We've got some sort of a happy family, I'd imagine. It's some ghosts along with them. This is definitely a ghost on the right side. Oh my god, yeah, this is not looking good. No turning so far. How do I use those? Oh. I don't know if we can use them. Oh, this is walking. You can't turn. Both of the hands are, are for walking. Interesting. Hi, ghosts. Look at this lantern right now. It only lights like 10 millimeters. <laughs> Freak is wrong with you. What is this? Ooh. Hi. Hi. Uh, look away. Look. Mama. Mommy. This is Lilith's family. Guys, we found Lilith's family. Okay. Not that fun. Let's hope we don't have to hide in this place. These are Uncle Luke and Lilith. So, this is Lilith. I don't know exactly... Oh, that's a very nice doll. I wanna store this. Look at this beautiful skull face or something. That's lovely. Okay, let's go find the uh, Lilith. Doll is not... What the freak is this? That's a headless doll. Interesting. Yeah, dolls playing with dolls. Or with the buttercup. Let's find the book. The Secrets of Saint Corin 6. Whoa, calm down. Calm down. I'll open the door, just don't be... Be gentle, okay? Clue. We've got clues apparently. <laughs> A blurry photo. That's the only clue we have. So we're kind of clueless. And I can't seem to open this door. We know there's a demon inside of there. Okay, so this game is pretty intense on the jump scares, okay? These are Lilith and me. Okay, so Lilith is about the same age as us. Maybe they were sister or wife or... or... <laughs> Lilith, is that you? Why are you being spooky right now? Hi guys! Uh... <laughs> what the... Uh, 
Happy birthday. Someone committed oof, okay? It's pretty dark, let's hope you guys see anything. Because, uh, yeah, I barely see anything on my end, and this is the quest which is pretty good with the lighting. Got some demonic symbols. Coin secret part one. Oh, you guys think I'm afraid of anything right now? Letter to Catherine. How do I read the letter though? Lose. Okay. Dear hostess, the annual sacrificial rites are frightening. I heard that Elder John is looking for new candidates. But this time, I don't know who will befall bad luck. Alisa. Okay. They've got some sacrificial action. Gadar Mountain in Jadamir area, where the ancient Cohen family has lived for generations. That's all. That's all we have right now. Where's the... Yeah, the... The hanging blade isn't there anymore. A few books seems, seem to be missing. Okay. This is where we want to put the book that I have. But we're gonna check out the stuff. I didn't even manage to read that. Holy heck. <laughs> yeah, so that. That's so funny. What the heck is this thing? Got a gigantic bottle of something. No idea what would be inside of this. Probably a dead. I hope I'm not gonna hit anything when I get jump scared. What the heck is this thing in that era? This is like futuristic stuff. Back to the future or something. Hmm. Got this thing right here. Saint Cohen Bar 3. Okay, so they were sacrificing people in here. This is the same door I was on the other side of. Let's see, any ghosts inside of here? Huh. Interesting. Someone was not wanted here, okay? I wanted to sacrifice this. What? What the hell? Oh my god. This is broken as hell. Let's keep going. Interesting picture. I guess this is a clue? Yeah. A painting. I forgot why we moved our house. It's big enough and the yard is full of orange trees. That would be nice. Did we check this? This is like an old rusty sewing thing. This one can't be open. Uh, we've got one, two, we need three. There we go, and then we need the seven. We're missing uh, five. Has to be somewhere. There we go. That's number one though. We need one more book, I'd imagine. Oh, we've got a message right here. A card to Landon. Dear Landon, happy birthday to you. I made your favorite pancake and muffin. Long live the Saint Cohen. By the way, Lilith has a present for you and she hides it. She wants you to find out your best friend, Alisa. So basically that's us, maybe? Landon? So we've got the hidden gift for us somewhere. This thing can work. It's for oh, toy. I made a cake. Cohen. Really? Each of her Hope you will like it. This is in cafe. The last girl's cabal's tag. Then uh, thank you, thank you. I didn't like the the cake by the way. It was kind of uh, stale and looks like it has been sitting there for like ten billion years. But yeah, thanks for the attempt, I guess. Oh, finally, finally, finally. Earth, darn it. 
been looking for this thing for 10 years and it's put next to the jars and the bots and holy heck this place needs a lot of tidying up okay now let's see what's gonna happen when we put this thing okay there's a key that appeared here interesting what could that key be for <sighs> where did that thing come from holy heck okay we managed to open this thing um not a good sign red lights everything's empty okay jump scare in three something is gonna be behind us something is gonna be behind us and we will be end of this i feel it very strongly we can't open stuff so we need to go to the end door oh we have to go up no. Chill bro. Chill. It's just a phone. No, no need to be like that. Mommy, oh. that is really? Really game? Coming soon. Oh that's the end. Please send your thoughts or something. I didn't even manage to read that. Yeah. Or join our group. A group? I think that's a phone number or something. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for the heart attack, okay? Okay guys, so that was Fog of Cage. Definitely a very interesting VR horror experience. The gameplay was not all bad. There was a little bit of exploration. There was a little bit of lore. The game also relies a lot on jump scares rather than an atmospheric sort of uh, creepy or chill vibe. In my opinion, that's not the best approach. But other than that, it's shaping to be a not half bad experience. So I'm very excited to see the final product and what the developers are gonna come up with that being said that's gonna be the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it feel free to leave a thumbs up and if you want to see more content like that subscribe to that channel and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye